Check this out. This is how I used to wrap presents. Many years ago, of course. As you can probably see, I struggled slightly. Truth be told, I didn't realise at the time. Merry Christmas! As the years went by, I continued to have difficulties with the wrapping of my presents. And it got to a point where I wondered, perhaps I'm not the best at this. Merry Christmas! It just kept getting worse and worse. A frustrated hands gesture would be good right now. Oh, there we go. Just take it. It was at this very moment that I realised there was only one thing I could do that would make me good at wrapping presents. I had to become a maths teacher. Right, well I put the training in. I'm ready to show you how to wrap a present properly now. Um, the thing I'm using today is this. The present I got for my wife. It's the uh, Great British Bake Off Christmas book. And I know what you're thinking. Romantic, I know. Um, first thing to know, so mathematically it's a cuboid, which means it's got rectangles for all its faces. And what we need to do is actually measure all the lengths. And then we can use the net of it to actually draw out on our wrapping paper and then we should be able to wrap this really easily and from now on once you know that you'll be able to wrap anything that's cuboid but we can work on the next bits um, and I'm going to take one step further and actually work out the surface area as well just so um, well that's what I told you the lesson's about so we need to do that awesome let's go right then so what I've done is I've sketched out the, the net of this and what I mean by that is I've not measured this at all um, on the paper I've just drawn the rectangles I know the book has unfolded um, would be, and then I've actually put the accurate measurements that I've taken, so that's 25 centimetres, 20, and 3 centimetres. And they're the only three measurements I need because if you think about the book, you've got the length of it, then the width, then the height of it. So once you've got that, it's, it's the same rectangles repeated, so you've got these two are the same. So to work out the area of a rectangle is just base times height. So 25 times 3, make that 75 centimetres squared. And I know that this rectangle is the same as that, so that's also 75 centimetres squared. Um, this rectangle here, well it's 20 along, it's 3 across as well, so that would be 20 times 3, which is 60 centimetres squared. Same with that one. And then lastly, the big one, 25 times 20, well 25 times 2 is 50, so 50 times 10 is 500 centimetres squared, as is this. And now I've got the area of each of the rectangles, all I have to do is add them together, and that'll give me the surface area of the book. So, we've got 500, 500, 75, 75, 60, and 60. So, 10, 14, 20, 27, 12. So, surface area of the book is 1,270 centimetres squared. And that's how you find the surface area of a cuboid. Of course, what you really want to know is how to wrap the present. That's the important thing. So, I've got this now, so now I know, or for real, what I'm going to do on the wrapping paper is actually measure out these lengths accurately. And I'll use a ruler, I'm using a protractor, um, which I'll have a go at now. Right then, so now I've got my sketch on now, all I have to do is draw an accurate one of it. Just using this ruler and a protractor. So, three, five. Speed on through this. Now I have a net drawn. What I've done now is cut it out. Didn't take long at all to do that. I'm going to do that with all my presents. Awesome! And there you have a net. 
of this present, hopefully. It's a moment of truth, has it actually worked. So let's get that in there, like so. Right then. I did leave a tiny bit extra on the, on the edge, so I'm going to round it up a little bit. I'm actually genuinely excited about this. It's probably moaning at me for taking it sideways for me. Well, there's that bit. Bit more tape. I'm a pro. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy. Yeah, I might need a little bit more cellar tape. But that's not bad. I'm pretty happy with that. And there you have it. Because of maths, I can now wrap presents. And so can you. Awesome. The end. <laughs>